All right, well, let's try this over again. Good morning. How's everybody doing on this fine, snowy day? Get stuff under my butt. It's just the cord for my headphones. Don't worry. It's nothing else. Anyway, so... That's annoying. Anyway, so we're going to talk about... Um, <laughs> passport bros here in the day. And how... Uh, Feminist women are overreacting about these men leaving the United States in search of a better life and a woman that actually wants to be around without fighting with them. So we'll get into talking about all this, but this is not anything new. You know, they're, they're making a big deal out of it the last three or four months. You know, for them, it's the end of the game, but... There we go. I can finally get it to work. For them, it's the end of the game. Well, at least they think so. But when they decided to follow the Gloria Steinem uh, religion, ideology, and try to try to outdo the men and try to take over the workplace of the men, uh, try to try to out try to out earn the men, you know, all that fun stuff that women have been doing since 1973. Been going through this since the 80s myself or sooner. And it's the same thing over and over again. It's they're, they're pushing to be the dominant. They want to get rid of men, and, and they don't want men in their workplace. And I've got stories and stories and stories to tell about that in my own experiences. And why I did what I did to get around it. This problem that is being created by the lunatics. Oh well, I guess that's the best it's gonna do. Lunatics of the of the United States. Anyway, so what's going on is is these men are, are are fed up with being told no or having women that want to fight with them all the time or you know, getting married and having to get divorced in two years just simply because the woman you're hooked up with or the woman you're married to is doing what her friends say she's supposed to do. I mean, this society, what we got going here in the United States, is not sustainable at all. Not at all. I mean, if these women want to be men, great. Run from those women. Let them be men. If those women want to be CEOs and all them, let them be CEOs and all them. If they don't have any kids, then their politics dies with them. You know, they're trying to indoctrinate at schools and stuff like that and, and all those other places. They're trying to, you know, use TV news, The View, all that stuff to indoctrinate younger women into this problem. But, you know, those are women you need to run away with from. You know, you need to show them that this is not something we want. Now, marriage is still possible here in the United States, but you got to be very, very careful which woman you, which woman you do marry. I'm not 100% against marriage, but I am against marriage to a uh, feminist. And that's nearly 90% of the population. And the other part problem is, is all these women that are saying no to these guys and complaining because these guys are leaving the United States are also the ones that are also trying to get to the top 20% of the men in the United States, the rich ones. They all want money. So if it's about money, or it's about the possibility that you're not going to have that guy to hook up with, then what are you complaining about? So I've got a clip here. I don't know how far it goes into it, but we're going to play this clip, and I'm going to record this clip, actually, um, from this uh, Perry's World. Perry's World. I'm going to talk, play this clip, or play this from her, from this channel. I'll list it in the, uh, um, well, I'll just list it on the damn, damn uh, video when I take it out of this thing. But we'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll do the clip and then, um, uh, I'll put it in the, uh, the tag so that we can get more visitors to this channel. So let's put it up on the screen right now, this crazy woman. Okay, so we're up on the screen and we're a little bit big, but that's okay. We'll just have to live with it. And and we'll we'll just let it go. 
that's okay. So to check the adjustment on that. So we'll play this and see what this crazy person has to say. As soon as I check my volume on my computer. Perfect. All right. So let's see what this crazy woman has to say. And we'll stop and talk through the whole thing. And uh, we'll give us a half hour or longer video so I can cut some out. And we're at six minutes. So probably a little longer on YouTube because I'll probably cut some out. The requirements for women is a lot higher nowadays, <laughs> it goes for all around the country. A lot of the men leaving the U.S. for to find their there wife abroad, they're only doing so because they believe women in the U.S. have standards that are too high. That's not why they're leaving. It's not the standards of the women. It makes her feel better to say that, but it's not the standards of the women. Well, it is the standards of the women, but it's not high standards. It's their low standards. Because they're sleeping with everybody else. High standards means they're not sleeping with anybody until they get married. But they got it backwards all the time. So let's see what else we can get going on this crazy person. I'm not even going to put him up on the screen this time. I'm just going to cut him out. Or you know, I might put him up there. I don't know. We'll see. See what I feel like when I edit it. Anyway, here we go. Let's try again. Because standards are not too high for... Uh, Man, for these women, I mean, every man can meet these standards if they decide they want to date an average man. If they want, if they mean by standards are too high, they want them to, to be spilling money out of every orifice or be making a hundred grand or more a year, then yeah, their standards are way too high. They're, they're, they're confused. They've been taught wrong. Something. You know, we can give them all kinds of excuses, but the simple fact remains they're not worth dating. They're not worth being around. You know, we've been having this problem since the 80s. In the 80s, we, they would sue men. Women would sue men just because they looked at them funny and get money, take away their life, livelihood, kind of like Joe Biden did with Russia. It didn't work. The fact that women are no longer lowering their standards. Well, actually... <laughs> they are. I'm suing. <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? A passport bro's thought exercise. A guy will go to a foreign country to find a life partner. And this is highly controversial lately. Because there's good women here in the United States who need partners too. And there is not very many good women here in the United States, by the way. At least not from what I've seen. I mean, this guy may may think that he's right, but he's not. I mean, there may be good women here in the United States, and if you got uh, make a hundred thousand or more, you know. But it, it's not. There's no good women here for the average person because seventy percent of men, well, no, eighty percent of men are um, sexless here in the United States. No marriage, no girlfriends, having problems. So wouldn't it be better for men to go where there are women that actually want them? I think so. At least the world population would survive. The U.S. population is going to continue to decline, and Kamala Harris is going to continue to try to cover it up by bringing people across the border. But we'll see what happens. And this is kind of crazy. Because, you know, if you can get a passport and get away from all the madness here in the United States, more power to you. Get away. Get gone. And they don't want to go to a third world country to go find a partner because we know how bad those guys can be. The machismo is real. So it's not <laughs> fair to women to have all the guys in a developed country that are willing to give them equal rights go to another country to find a girl that's going to be loyal to them and not give them a hard time. Yeah, that guy's a feminist. I'll tell you right now, that guy is a feminist. We could talk to him. We could talk about that all day long. I don't know how much further we're going into this video. But let's see. Because, yeah, I don't know a country that a woman could go to and go find a male counterpart where that male is actually going to treat her right and allow her to have a job and all that stuff. It's this is starting to look really bad for women in that case. So, of course, they're going to be upset about the whole passport bros culture. Let's make it granular. Let's think about one guy, right? Let's say that there's a woman who wants one guy. She's like, oh, he's good. I'd like to date him. But he's going out of the country to go get a date instead of dating her here in the United States. There's a reason why he's doing that. Yep. And you might go, that's not fair. I should have a solid chance of dating this guy. Well, why? All right. Well, I'm done with this. This guy's just going off on stupid shit. Now, I don't know if there's any more uh, 
anything else to milk out of this because, you know, feminists like that, you know, they give guys a bad name. They, you know, guys, feminists, you know, these women that are complaining because there are men leaving the country and this, this culture, you know, it's been going on for years. World War One, they were going out of the country, finding wives in other countries. World War Two, they did the same thing. And now it's just, you know, you try and you try and you get to a certain age and you, you do like most of the men are doing. You give up on uh, having a wife here in the United States because you've, you've exhausted all your options. You've been on dates where they just use you for food. You've dated everybody in the world. You know, it's frustrating to get, uh, to have that, not be able to, to be, have a wife or settle down and, and uh, have children and have an actual nuclear family and not give. And, and, you know, in that case, the woman doesn't really need to work anyway. It's, we should go back to the 1880s and all that. I mean, he, this guy here that we were just listening to, he wants women to be able to work full-time job. But, you know, if they make more than you do, you know, they're not going to want you around anyway. So the more and more the feminists push women to college and men to, to um, out of the college, the more and more of this you're going to see. People leaving the country, men leaving the country because they can't find a job. You know, workplace employment, we'll talk about that in the next video before we get into the passport bros because I got several to do on this. Because this is really funny that and all these feminists, you know, you can see it. There's going to be another one here coming up. They're going out on TikTok and complaining because all these men are leaving. They want a man, but they're not acting like they want a man. And when they get a man, they're going to want to fight with him anyway. So he's going to leave anyway. So why not just let him go to the other country, then date what um, Camel Harris wants you to get you a nice Spanish boy or somebody foreign that's already here in the States and marry or. Do what you're naturally going to do. Grow old alone and no kids. Then your ideology can die with you. Anyway, so let's get another video up and see what we got. Because that's all that's going to happen is the ideology is going to die with them. They're not going to have any kids. and We've got plenty of examples in history. All you got to do is pick up a history book and read it where this has happened in other societies and you know, women took over. Because the men did too good of a job making it safe for them. Then they uh, just simply um, left. Because they couldn't get a, a date. You know, it happened in the Roman Empire. Roman Empire didn't get a chance to completely fail on its own. Because the Huns took over and, and killed uh, and destroyed the Roman Empire. But... That's, that's comparably an army the size of Mexico versus the United States that did that to the Roman Empire. Because they were already weak. They were infighting amongst themselves. Women didn't want men around. Weren't having any babies. Marriage was just a, uh, uh, a Clinton-type marriage where they, just for show, it wasn't really for anything else. They get married. The husbands would go out and satisfy themselves with other men. In the Roman Empire. But here, the American women are starting to really notice that passport bros are existing and men are actually leaving the United States, which, for their example, it would really probably bug them quite a bit because, you know, then that's, you know, 750,000 this year uh, men that they're not going to be able to even hook up with. So let's see what's going on now. And will this video play? Everything good, but you know what? What the fuck am I doing? Every day I wake up, I'm like, is there a fucking purpose to this? <laughs> <laughs> Women on average experience more negative emotion than men. Help. So 75% of divorces are initiated by women, and women are more unhappy than men. And so they're more prone to depression and they're more prone to anxiety disorders. They're more prone to suicide attempts, although men commit suicide more often because they use guns. So women are higher negative emotion. <laughs> and, and so why? 
Well, it kicks in at puberty. And so why would women become more sensitive to threat at puberty? Well, let's figure it out. It's pretty straightforward. They're at a physical disadvantage. Because mm -hmm. boys and girls can wrestle and fight, but men and women can't. Mm -hmm. So men are way stronger, especially in the upper body. And so women hit men more than the reverse, mm -hmm. by a lot. Yeah. So you might say, well, are women or men more violent? Well, if it's just blows struck, women win. But if it's blows that land, yeah. right, that okay. leave damage, yeah. Right, exactly. Women get comparatively weaker physically, so mm -hmm. the world's more dangerous, okay? Then they're more vulnerable sexually. Mm -hmm. Right then, they have to take care of infants, mm -hmm. so they're tilted towards more threat detection. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot more going on here than than these two are going to say. This is the tribe talking about this, and you know he just basically points out they've got emotional damage, which they do. I mean, but he's not getting the whole story. You know, he's not looking at this from the the practical they're looking at this from the crazy angle but we'll go ahead and uh, play some videos out of this more until they start talking about it and then we'll we'll drop them off and go find more because we're talking about it now we don't want to hear what they have to say so we're doing pretty good here uh, and we may not get too many more videos in on this setup and then again who knows we'll see what happens and uh, we're just going to keep going here. Might make it a long one just for the hell of it. Because there's all kinds of things I'm going to say here. Hey guys, this is things my ex-boyfriend did that I thought were normal at the time. Number one. Took one of my best friend's phone and then went through her messages with me to make sure I wasn't talking to other guys. <laughs> Number two. Told me he didn't like me wearing tampons as he thought that was too much pleasure for me. <laughs> Number three, let a girl kiss him twice at a party. This was the only party he ever went to, by the way. Number Aww. four, when I cried on my body, he told me he didn't want to deal with it, so he went back to bed. Number five, got mad all my coworkers were men, as if I have a say, as a 19-year-old working in a part-time job in a restaurant. Number six, got mad I cried when my basketball coach died. I knew him for like eight years. Number seven, got mad at boxing, not because of the pain, but because he didn't want the reputation that I was too masculine. Number eight, no. got mad that I got assaulted at a party because I was out past 11 p.m. Number nine, sounds like a man. He hired a prostitute and then threw up on her. If you guys want a part two, let me know. All right, so these guys are done. I mean, that's kind of crazy, but... That's what women think of men right there, which basically what she said. Uh, she's upset because I don't even know if she's ever had a boyfriend, but you know there that one there was just upset. Now, if women are going to treat men in that manner, that fashion, think of them that way, and treat them the way that woman was talking, then why would any man want to be around her? Why would he... Why would anybody want anything to do with that? You know, these uh, super tough, super woke, super feminist women, like the one we're going to see next, you know, Western women here, let's see what we got going on with this one. I mean, we could sit here all day long and, and talk about why these women hate that's not what I wanted up. Wrong box. There, that's the box. Hate men that are leaving the United States. Well, they just hate men, period. But, you know, that's not the point. Their value system is just all screwed up. They, they really don't understand what they need to be doing to uh, keep a man around. You know, it's really just crazy that these women, they don't get it. And... You know, they're never going to get it. You know, even if you tell them 150,000 times, if they don't want to change what they're doing, they won't. So let me get this one up. We could stick them all on mental institutions. There wouldn't be any women walking around to talk to. There it is. It's up. There we go. So this is another video I found from another site. 
there's all kinds of people talking about passport bros. They're talking about this. They they but I got women on TikTok complaining all over the place that you know this passport bro thing. Uh, and then then there are some that are going to explain why, which they're completely wrong. But let's find out what she has to say here. Oh, uh, did I have it far enough? Let's look. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's go back here, start with this chick, and see what this one's got to say, and then we'll play through for a little bit till it gets to be stupid, and then we'll, we'll keep on going. Well, it's all stupid, but you get what I'm trying to say. Group of people, group of men, put down their own women, more than I've heard black men do it in pursuit of <laughs> other women, and I just find it really disheartening. This is one of several videos that I've seen from non-black people finally speaking up about how black men talk about, mistreat, put down black women. Are well, they're not mistreating, putting down black women. Black women are mistreating and putting down men, and it's not black or white issue. This passport, bro, Women having problems with men, this is an every every woman, every man problem. It's not about black women, it's not about Asian women, it's not about yellow women, green, blue, purple, this is just women. The whole problem is women. These women that are we're showing complaining, which women like to do that a lot, but they are complaining simply because men are leaving the United States. I wonder how that I wonder if they did the same thing in the past when men were leaving the tribes, like that one they found in the 80s in Africa, or the rainforest. They were all over the news all through the 80s. These women are doing this. I wonder how those women, if those women were complaining because those men would go out hunting one day and not come back. They'd go find themselves another tribe. You know, they take their food that they got hunting and take it someplace else and the women would do the hunting and do the fishing and you know you don't feel useful what's the point of being around these women if you know they won't let you be who you are they, they are doing the same thing in the workplace now too so it's getting worse and society society's going to crumble because they're doing it and, and they're not getting any kind of consequences for doing it. Well, they're getting consequences. It's just it's the passport bros that are doing it. You know, people leaving the tribe. And this is going to get a bigger and bigger. Every year, People leaving men leaving the United States is going about 100,000 more every year so they can go find a woman that actually wants them, wants to be around them, wants them to be useless. And those women probably are not being used they're probably not even being forced they're not being bought they're not being sold they're they're probably just regular everyday average women that like these guys they can understand they care they understand what they're supposed to do with these guys like today's women here in the United States don't even care that try to understand whatsoever so we're gonna find out what women are going to do to stop passport bros from leaving? Well, they're simple. Marry them. Marry, them. marry men at 18 years old and keep them throughout your whole life, regardless what they do. And don't make more money than they do. Let's keep going. And if this doesn't apply to you, then you shouldn't be triggered. I'm saying non-black people, people with no skin in the game, are calling y'all out. Where is the shame? There is absolutely no, no group of men that publicly humiliates, publicly puts down their own women the way that black men do. <laughs> now see, that's the part I can never... Yeah, <laughs> that's the part that, that they can't understand. Or women can understand. Well, we're done with that one. That's just kind of funny that she would actually say something like that in public. And she's got it backwards. Because she's not, the women aren't being put down. The men are being put down by these women. She's really got it backwards. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, these clips are coming from different websites, different pages. So there's going to be a lot of them. Because this is actually kind of f funny that these women don't understand exactly what they're saying or what they're doing. And 
they're they're just going out on YouTube and complaining instead of actually doing what they should be doing about it, like or out on TikTok or YouTube or social media. Let's just put it social media. They're actually they they're actually just uh, all they're doing is complaining about it. Well, complaining is not going to do it. At 18 years old, they should be getting married to these guys if they don't want them to leave the United States, period. It's pretty simple. You know, you go get them married. You keep them, you do the things that make him happy, which will make you happy. You do all the right things. Don't try to chase the brick wall, glass wall, brick wall. It's more like it, but don't try to chase the glass wall or glass ceiling. Don't try to become the girl boss. We don't like those. Those women are going to end up single and alone. Don't follow the tradition. Don't follow the societal norms that we've got going on right now in the United States. Just don't. Do the opposite. Do what they would have done before World War One. Go get married at a young age and stay married till you die. Regardless, work it out. If there's a problem, work it out. Make a point to to tell yourself that this guy is your guy. He's the best you can do, and you're going to keep him. He's not rich, but he is rich because he's in love with you. He's got you, not anybody else. That man will be the happiest man in the world, and when he's happy, you're happy. And we need to get back to that because this madness that we've got going on right now, the Gloria, St Gloria Steinem cult that I'm calling it, or feminists, or anything else you can imagine to call these, these things, woke, progressive, these women, and some of the men that hang out with them, you know, that want to try to try to defend them. Well, we're not trying to defend them. We're trying to tell them what's right, what to do right. We're not. We're not even gonna um, tell them that they can't do what they're doing. They can do whatever the hell they want. But they, you know, if they decide to go chase the glass ceiling, go to become the boss lady, boss babe, they're gonna have to suffer the consequences. Because life's full of consequences, and most men suffer the consequences and manage to keep a family going. These women aren't aren't um, logical enough to do that. Emotions won't get the job done. So let's go find another one. This woman apparently she's mad about passport bros too. Leaving the leaving the uh, United States, she's got thoughts on it. Let's find out what it is. It's probably a whole lot more in these videos that I'm popping up. But all I want is just the uh, the reaction from the women right now. We'll go back and we'll get some of these um, other places that talk about, talk to women and tell them, find out what they're talking about with the women. So let's get this up on the screen. Find out why. There we go. Let's play this till it gets stupid and then we'll get out of it. And aren't really accustomed to Western men and their mentalities <laughs> and their manipulation tactics. Listen to if you have negative underlying intentions, they will show up in your energy and she <laughs> will pick up on it. These traditional women are super protected by the men in their families. So if you ever go abroad and try to mess with one of these girls, these traditional women, you do her wrong or you cheat on her or you <laughs> lie to her, she's going to send the men in her family after you. And they will beat and probably unalive you. They probably will. Not probably you know not. Because you're a foreigner who They're came to their country to mess with their women that they actually respect. American women do not need to marry for a better life or economic gain. <laughs> Our standards tend to be a bit higher. A lot of these passport bros have been discarded because many of them are senior citizens who are mentally and emotionally damaged. They can damaged. no longer perform in the bedroom. They are not damaged, financially huh? stable and they just don't have anything to offer American women. So we are very happy that many of them are able <laughs> to find wives in foreign women like you. Greetings, you. All right. Well, that's interesting because now that woman just said that she's happy that these men are leaving the United States. Well, she doesn't have one herself, so she's really happy they're leaving. That way all the rest of the women don't have them either. I mean, I've got a whole lot more to talk about on this thing, and I've got 
probably six more websites to go through. But we're approaching the uh, mark. And, and, you know, no matter what they say, these women say about passport bros or, or men generally, the, the way they act, they don't really want them. You know, it's the end of the game for them. These are the kind of women that, you know, men need to run from, need to leave alone, let them be alone by themselves because that's what they want. Let them, let them deal with the, the shame of their mistakes, their decisions. Let them live with it. Those are the consequences that they're going to have to have. Maybe society doesn't give them any consequences or tries to ease the burden on them because women try to help women be in the same situation they are. Uh, but there is no saving this type of uh, ideology. Is what, what we're seeing with this type of thing is... It's basically just stupid stupidity. I mean, we can we can go through all these um, these shows that talk about these women and and show the problems that we're having. So they're having. We can talk about why they're having them, how come they're having them, and explain the whole nine yards. But it really won't do any good. The, these women, you know, if they don't want to get married at a young age, have kids with a guy, and, and traditional, go back to a traditional way of thinking, then why would men in the United States stay with these women? Hell, 100,000 men that make billions of dollars are doing the same thing. I mean, that's who they're complaining about because they can't hook up with them no more and feel like they're more than they really are. Or maybe maybe it's just simply because they don't they they finally realizing that you know if if women in the United States don't start having babies, the United States is gonna fall. You know, and we keep doing stupid stuff in politics with politics like they're doing up there in Washington D.C. The United States is gonna fall. We might as well just give it to China and start speaking Mandarin because it would be a whole lot better than where the United States is heading right now. And, you know, Democrats, Joe Biden, the Ku Klux Klan, the, the woke, the progressives, the feminists, they're all pushing it that way, whether they know it or not. So it's its kind of funny that, that what they're doing is kind of stupid, but they don't really realize it. So what I'm going to do is, is we'll go ahead and get off of here. If you want to hear more about this from me, over the passport bros, go ahead. I might put them out anymore. But please, just go ahead and put it in the comments below. If you even see this video, either on um, Rumble or on YouTube, because I will put this on YouTube Tell YouTube eats the channel up. Because I'm not going to keep back. I'm not going to hold back what I'm saying. I'm going to tell the truth and see how many people can get upset. You know, it's the way it is. Uh, I'm going to research it, make sure it's the truth, even though uh, Twitter women, <laughs> feminists that work at Twitter, or uh, YouTube, or Facebook, or wherever this thing might be posted, won't like what I have to say about what they're saying, then we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll get back to it, uh, or keep going. It's not going to stop me, because I've got other channels, other places to put videos out. YouTube's not the only show in town anymore. So anyway, we'll go ahead and call this good. I'm going to need my remotes. To have safe, be safe, have a good day, and, and, and enjoy the credits. We'll see you later. Bye.